Boy Ninja. This is a tutorial on a corkscrew or what I call a corkscrew. This is also known as a get down. So this is a way, or a go down. This is a way to go from the top, dancing from the top, to get down to the ground, to do your footwork, to do freezes, or even just a way to go down and then come back up. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put this to counts, even though you can do it any kind of way once you get used to it. For the sake of learning it, we'll do it with counts. So we're gonna go open one, cross two, and we're crossing left over right right now. However, we're gonna change that so you can learn it both ways, all right? Now, when I cross, my front foot is slightly more in front than right under me. I don't want it right here. I want some space in between for what we're gonna do next, all right? The beginning of this, you're gonna go one, two, this is the basic of it, turn three, okay? You wanna end with the opposite leg in front. That's very important that you didn't let this leg come around and land this way. You wanna make sure you land with your feet still crossed, all right? So you're going open one, cross two, turn three, all right? You wanna turn on the balls of your feet, all right? So you're on this part, turn on the balls of your feet. If you dance any other style, like jazz, ballet, then that's releve. So you kinda of wanna pull up on releve, even though once we get into it, you're definitely not pulling up and centering, you're saying you're, we're gonna go down to the ground, as I said before. Open one, cross two. Keep the weight on the balls of your feet, more importantly, on the front leg, all right? So, as you turn, you're gonna center your weight on the leg that's in front right now, that's my left, and you're going to go down. As I turn and go down at the same time, that creates the momentum and the speed for me to get where I need to go. So, as I turn, I'm lowering myself. My weight's still on this leg, facing the wall, I'm halfway down. By the time I get to the front, all the way down, this leg is crossed in front. From here, like I said, I can go into footwork if I wanna place my hand down. I can come here and then also spin back up if I want to, all right? So let's try that one more time slow. Open one, cross two, turn three, and we're down, all right? To turn back up, you keep that weight centered, so right now, if you look at me from the side, I'm centered right over that bottom foot. Turn up. Let's try with the other leg. Open one, cross two. Now I'm crossing with my right, all right? As we turn, again, same thing. Bend your knees as you turn, not before, not after, same time. Control, I'm keeping it on this leg. So this leg can easily drop down, right across, and again, we can spin back up. Here's the problems most people have in this skill. Open, cross, and like I said, if you do jazz, ballet, anything like that where you do pull up in your turns, you are gonna wanna do this. Turn and then drop. That is not the way to do it make sure you're turning and dropping at the same time. So kind of like you're screwing into the floor, all right? Another mistake is putting the weight on the back foot instead of the front foot. What I mean by that is this, I'll turn to the side. So I want my weight centered as I turn on this foot. What happens is people turn and then put the weight on this leg so this leg crosses and you end up in like a pretzel or if you're doing yoga, I don't know. Um, so make sure you keep the weight in the front leg, okay? Open one, cross two, bend and turn, here. Bend and back up, other leg. Open, cross, keep the weight in the front, on the toe here, down. Stand it back up.